Last week, Marjorie Taylor Greene got on Twitter and released what legal experts believe was confidential information from the United States government that could result in legal action against Marjorie Taylor Greene. And after the release of this information, uh, upon which, by the way, Marjorie Taylor Greene claims that she got the information from the U.S. Treasury Department. She went there, read this report that is not publicly available, got on Twitter, started spewing all of this stuff about the entities owned by the Biden family, specifically Hunter Biden, money that was going to these organizations and companies that he owned. She then called them a criminal enterprise, the worst criminal enterprise ever to inhabit the White House. And this did not go unnoticed by Hunter Biden's lawyers who have now sent a letter to the treasury department's in, uh, uh, inspector general asking for them to conduct an investigation into how in the hell Marjorie Taylor Greene not only got this information that she was not privy to, but how she then got on social media and blurted this all out not to mention the potential defamation against the Biden family. Here's what the lawyer wrote. We write to request the office of congressional ethics, initiate a review of and take appropriate action as a result of representative Marjorie Taylor Greene's suspected violations of house, house ethics rules and standards of official conduct. Representative Green's unethical conduct arises from her continuous verbal attacks, defamatory statements, publication of personal photos and data, and promotion of conspiracy theories about and against Robert Hunter Biden. None of these could possibly be deemed to be part of any legitimate legislative activity, as is clear from both the content of her statements and actions and the forum she uses to spew her often unhinged rhetoric. Um, since her election to Congress in 2020 and before representative green has engaged in steady dogged verbal and defamatory attacks against Mr. Biden and members of his family. Her online statements and public appearances are neither legislative drafting nor oversight nor real congressional business. They are a spray of shotgun pellets of personal vitriol that are the definition of conduct that does not reflect quote credibility, uh, credibil creditably on the house. Sorry, folks. Her actions are not merely the expression of political views or private free speech because she uses her official position to disseminate them and often expresses them in official proceedings. So that was not only, as I said, sent to the house ethics committee as said in that tweet, uh, or statement, excuse me. It was also sent to the inspector general of the treasury department itself. And they've got a point. If this material that Marjorie Taylor Greene spewed out is in fact true, then she's releasing confidential information held by the United States government, which luckily Donald Trump, when he was in office, actually made that a federal crime and enhanced the penalty for it. If it's not true, and I explained this all last week on Ring of Fire, if it's not true, then that's clearly defamation and she can be sued uh, civilly for that in civil court. So either way, Marjorie Taylor Greene should have some very big problems here. Now, the issue, of course, with writing this letter to the House, House Ethics Committee, excuse me, I don't know why I'm, I'm having such trouble right now speaking, but the issue with that is, of course, even if the House Ethics Committee or panel, which is not a, a, a makeup of, of members of the House, if they say, yes, she did wrong, she broke the law, House, you have to do something, the house isn't going to do anything. So house ethics panel, whatever, they're not going to do anything. They don't have the power. They would have to recommend a punishment to the house and the house will then choose to ignore it because they don't care about holding their own accountable. But what she did here is absolutely serious. The claims that she leveled against Hunter Biden and of course, president Biden are absolutely defamatory in my opinion. Like you look at what she had said last week. And again, I got a video about it over at ring of fire. It, there, there's no other way to slice it. This is defamation or this is leaking classified information. Like personally, it'd probably be better off for you, Marjorie, to take the defamation hit rather than the other hit for leaking classified info. Cause that'll land you in prison. The defamation will just cost you some cash. 
but something has to happen. We cannot continue to have this government that is completely unaccountable, right? Like we've got the issues with Clarence Thomas in the Supreme court right now, all of his decades of corruption being exposed. And there's literally nothing we can do. Marjorie Taylor Greene leaking confidential information, leaking private personal information about a private U S citizen, Hunter Biden. Cause no matter how much the Republicans want to talk about him, he has not made himself public. Therefore he is not a public figure. They thrust him into that spotlight. They're leaking his personal information and that's not okay. Even if what he did is illegal and that'll all come out in the wash. He is being investigated. I got no problem with the investigation, but what they're doing to him during this is not legal is the point. We need more than just an investigation into Marjorie Taylor Greene. We know what she did because she did it publicly. Like we're beyond the investigation. It's been done technically because she tweeted it out. What we need are charges against her, but because Republicans control the house, that'll never happen because our government is unaccountable to anyone. We do not have the power to hold these people accountable except for in elections. And remember that because 2024 seems like a world away, but it really is right around the corner. And that is the only chance we have to hold people like green accountable.